Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins, and you have entered the DM Zone. We are tonight at the RIP Horror Film Festival in L.A. Ooh, this is so exciting. We are going to do some interviews with some of the stars of our films and maybe attendees. We'll just see. We're going to have a lot of fun. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins. You have entered the DM Zone. We are here at the RIP Horror Film Festival in LA, and I am with producer Pete McAlevey. Welcome. Hi, and thank you for coming. Let's talk about Kill Her, Not Me. I love that title. Well, I tell you something, the title works because everyone hears it says, What's that about? It's just one <laughs> of those things, you know? It's a what do I, I would hope psycho was in the day what's psycho about it's just a title you can't uh, you can't miss oh it's wonderful let's talk a little bit about the process as a producer what does it take to bring a film to this point to a film festival uh, a lot of luck and prayers um, <laughs> particularly in the independent film world as you know it's never easy it's never easy at the studio level but their problems are millions of dollars ours are hundreds of thousands and that makes it a little bit tougher we don't have money to throw at problems we have to be creative in solving them but I think we did a good job with this here, and you'll see it tonight, and I hope you agree. I think that the idea of targeting a horror film towards women is so exciting, I can't tell you. Well, that was one of the, the nice things about the original concept. The concept is that for the first time, every, every horror film has a cabin in the woods or at the beach or a boat <laughs> stranded somewhere. Lonely, dark places. It, it yeah, always, yeah. always has six <laughs> girls, half of them in their bras and panties. Well, that's fine. Running around. <laughs> and that's okay. That's still PG-13. The difference is our killer doesn't go into the house and slash and burn them. What he does is he basically traps them in there in the middle of this horrible snowstorm, all of which was real, by the way, um, and tells them that, look, here's the deal. You got five nights here, there's six of you. I'm gonna kill a girl every night. At the end, one's gonna be left. You guys choose who. And so it's how in this Stephen King-like frenzy, they all turn on each other, and they thought you were best friends until you slept with my boyfriend, you go now. and. <laughs> You, you, you cheated friends. off me, and it's <laughs> all these things that I love were once small offenses are now risen to capital crimes. Totally. Wonderful, exciting. <laughs> Excuse me. That's right. Wonderful and exciting. I think that it's going to be a smash hit, and I hope. Your lips to God's ears, as they say. <laughs> say right there. Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins, and you have entered the DM Zone. We are here at the RIP Horror Film Festival. I'm visiting with actress Jen Araki. Welcome. Thank you so much. You have a pretty amazing career. I'm most familiar with your um, tour on The Sopranos. What was that like? Yes. You know, it was an amazing experience because James Gandolfini is such a giving actor, and I just feel so blessed and lucky that I was able to work with him, especially... Spend that time. Yeah. Unfortunately, given his death this year, um, he took me under his wing. He was way more giving than I ever expected. He was like my big brother on set. <laughs> and it just felt... Uh, I felt so fortunate to be in such a wonderful show, an iconic show that uh, has just great actors and everyone on set has just such a nice vibe and it was my first uh, dramatic television role and I thought, oh my gosh, my first one, I'm James Gandolfini, uh, <laughs> you know, a mobster, you know, bedroom scene, uh, oh my goodness, but it was- And you were amazing on it. Thank you so much. It was such an amazing experience. Like I said, uh, gosh, I count my lucky stars every day that I got to work with such an amazing- And actor. now here you are in this wonderful new Kill Her, Not Me. I yes. love this, this premise. This is so much fun. Thank Talk to you. me about the experience. It was such an awesome experience. Um, I enjoyed my role, Angela, because it was very opposite of myself. And as an actress, that's what I strive for, <laughs> is to play people that aren't anything like you to give myself a challenge. Uh, sororities, personally, absolutely <laughs> scare the crap out of me. I would never personally be in a sorority. So to be a president of sorority, kind of this bossy, mean girl, was so much fun to play. And the other actresses were I understand it was almost like a sorority. The girls had so much fun on the set. It was. We were giggling, laughing, delirious after long days, <laughs> stuck in Big Bear with piles of snow everywhere. It, it kind of, it kind of forces you to bond in cold places. We're all cuddled together, and you know we still all stay in touch, which is is what you want. You know, yeah. a true friendship is born out of this, exactly. and that's so much fun. Yeah, it was it was great, and I love horror films. I grew up watching. 
them growing up. I love The Exorcist and Misery were my two favorites as when I was a kid. So something that I've always been interested in doing. So it was really fun to do this genre for the first time. Well, you know, this is a good genre for a lot of actresses that have gone on to bigger and better things. Mm -hmm. So I think it's exciting. Yeah, I'm really excited. I think every day that I'm on set doing what I love the most, you know, so I'm excited that George and Peter picked me to play this role. And well, congratulations, and I hope that it's just a really big success. Thank you so much. I'm excited to be here, so thank you. Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins, and you have entered the DM Zone. We are here with director George Francisco. George, you are just making me so excited. I love it. Your movie, let's talk about Kill Her, Not Me. Woo, good title. Very, yeah, very good title, title for a film. Very, very good. Um, we're very proud to be here at the Rip Horror Festival in Long Beach. And um, it's, a, it's just a thrill to have people come out and enjoy the film. Now, I want to know about the process of getting to this point with the film. You're the director, but you also do a lot of other things, too, as far as writing and producing and so on. How did you end up being the director on this? I, I was fortunate enough to have worked for a very long time with a very clever and talented producer named Pete McAlevey. Right. Came to me with an interesting idea, or at least it was a very interesting title. And he said, what do you think about doing something like this? And he outlined the script to me broadly. And I said, I would be interested in doing something that's like the Glengarry Glen Ross for young girls. And he looked at me and said, huh, that's interesting. And about 12 days later, uh, he and I were picking up picture vehicles so we could shoot the film. So that's about how fast it moved. And now, I talked with one of your stars, Elizabeth Siegel, and she said it was a blast on the set. That all really reflects on you as a director. Well, you know, I mean, it's like any work environment. You want to make it fun, and people are there to do a job. You want to help them do their job as best as possible. For me, my job is helping actors. It's easy when they are engaged in their character and they want to work. Penny Marshall said something to me one time. She said, the hardest part of her job was getting actors out of their trailers. So I did not have that job. <laughs> she excellent. said it, she said it a little bit differently. It sounded I know different. Penny, yes, I'm bit. Yeah, but, so I'm not going to do anything that comes across as mocking by doing a, a, an imitation of her impressions. Well, this is exciting having the premiere here, and I think that it's probably a great thing since this is a horror, but this horror is this horror film is directed towards women, which I, as a female, am excited to hear. Tell me about how that concept came. Uh, well, you know, once again, uh, uh, just look at the world. I mean, there are more women in the world. Uh, women are, are much more relevant forces economically. Um, women need to be... Entertained. Entertained, but, you know, there, there, needs to be, there need to be products beyond lipstick and mascara for them. There need to be films for them. <laughs> There, you know, there need to be cars for them, and, and you know, it was an opportunity to do something, to take the genre and not so much stand it on its head, but to shift it a little bit to a point where maybe it hadn't gone before. Well, I was going to say, I think it's about time, and I'm excited about it. Looking forward to this whole experience. Well, thank, you, thank you guys very much. Thank you for taking the time to talk to me, and uh, it's a pleasure. <laughs> Great. I am so excited to meet you. This is your first full-length feature, correct? This is my first feature. Yeah, it's very exciting. Uh, it's so exciting. And I understand you have a famous relative. I do. Let's talk about her okay. a little bit. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis is my aunt, and um, I'm very proud to be related to her. Uh, she started acting, um, doing Halloween. I was so, going to say horror films. Yeah, so, uh, horror this is so films. exciting. So I didn't know that I would begin this way, but I, but I have, and um, there, that's kind of cool, you know? I, I love the family connection. Now in Hollywood, sometimes that works against you and sometimes it works for you. How do you think it's been doing for you? I think uh, people love her, you know, she has a really great um, public, ability. public persona, yeah. She's done a lot of great things and I think that she's, yeah, she's a great actress and my, uh, my uncle, Christopher Guest, a lot of people are fans of it, you know. So um, they've both made very good films. <laughs> and they've been helping a little bit with maybe some how-tos? Yeah, I think um, Jamie, you know, has always been supportive and, um, and, uh, and you know, inspired me. So I, I, just being her, you know, <laughs> being who she is. She is nice. I was going to say she's as nice in real life oh, as she is. she's the life of the party. She's wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Let's yeah. talk about your character. Talk to me a little bit about her. Oh, okay. Viv is uh, the lead of the film. Um, she's uh, 
She's that. She's the every girl, which you know everybody can relate to her. She's kind of struggling with confidence and um, you know her own, yeah, her own inner confidence, I guess. Um, but uh, she's she's quiet. But then as the movie, um, you know, as the story unfolds, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, gets you more. See confident. how much yeah. power she actually has. Oh, I love it. So I love it. Well, we don't want to give it away. No, I'm not going <laughs> to give anything away. But she's um, she's a very strong lady. Yeah. And I understand that this film is based and targeted towards women, which as a female, obviously, I'm excited about. What do you think will be the reaction to this? Oh, I think I think girls will really like this. I think be, if you're if you're a girl, you understand um, struggling, wa wanting other girls to like you, and and there being sort of a, a competition. But then you you want you know you don't want there to be, but there is kind Always. of thing. So this film kind of explores um, the relationship between the girls more it's, more than the relation their relationship to something outside, outside of them. It's more about what they think of each other, which is I, really interesting. Like I said, I think this is really exciting. I think yeah. it's a different way for the genre to go. Yeah. Well, thank you for visiting with thank me. Thank you. It's <laughs> nice to meet you. Hi, this is Elizabeth Siegel, and we are here at the RIP Horror Film Festival in LA, and we're going to talk a little bit about your character in the movie, Kill Her, Not Me. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Talk to me about your character. I love the movie. Thank you. Well, Isabel is a sorority sister through and through. She really believes in sisterhood, and this sorority has become her life. She's a senior, and you know they're all going to graduate, and this is like her big moment. She's been waiting for it all, all through college, and she really wants it to be perfect. This weekend is a sorority retreat, and she has all of her questions. She has this binder that she loves, and she just wants to bond and ask questions and plan the future. And but that isn't going to be what's going to happen, is it? But we don't want to spoil anything. Of course not. <laughs> no, it doesn't go great for her, but she tries. <laughs> Tell me, how have you been as far as the filming and now the, the premiere here? This is so much fun at the Film Festival. It's been a lot of fun. This is my first movie, and it's been a crazy good time. It was particularly fun being in this movie with all these other young girls, all these up-and-coming actresses who were just... Kind of a real sorority party. Absolutely. Only it went better for us. None of us got murdered that we know of. <laughs> But we have so much fun just filming up in Big Bear for almost two weeks and just, you know, all the hot tub scenes and just being freezing in the crazy snow that none of us expected. And just really, it was a great time. It was just a really fun experience for all of us. Well, I can't wait to see the whole film and the, I'm just really looking forward to it. But thank you for spending time visiting with me. Thank you. It's been <laughs> lovely to talk to you. It's been great. <laughs> Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins, and we are still here at the RIP Horror Film Festival. I am visiting with actress Amanda Tedesco. I am so excited to talk to you. Welcome. Thank you so much. Let's talk about your film, Kill Her, Not Me. I love the title. Your role. I play Jordan. She's kind of the innocent freshman of the group, very <laughs> eager to fit in. I want to be liked. <laughs> exactly, exactly. She really does just want to be liked by the older girls, yeah. And I understand it's kind of like a sorority, it is a sorority girls, but this was almost like a sorority party actually on film. <laughs> it was, it was. We got so lucky. It was an amazing bunch of girls and we all got along really well, so it was just a lot of fun shooting up in Big Bear. Now, where is this in your career? Is this your first or? Um, this is not my first feature, but it is one of the first. It's my first horror feature, which was always a treat. <laughs> well, you know, a lot of famous actresses have moved along from this genre. Exactly, exactly. So uh, hopefully I'll be the next one. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you see coming along for you? Have you got something else in the work? Um, I just shot an episode of the sitcom Dads for Fox, which was really fun. And that was my first sitcom experience. And I kind of fell in love with it. So. Well, and tell me, what was your most favorite thing about um, Kill Her Not Me? Oh gosh, I guess my most favorite thing was shooting with the other girls, the other actresses. Everyone was so lovely and so talented and so fun and I really couldn't have asked for a better experience doing well, that film. Director George Francisco, he said that most of the time you, the hardest thing is getting the actors out of the trailers. He said he didn't have that problem. Oh no, not at all. We were never in our trailers. We were always hanging out with each other on set and making each other laugh and it was good. Well, that's so exciting. I can't wait to see the film. Thanks Thank for you visiting. so much. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for visiting. <laughs>